Hey guys, my name is Ismans and today I want to show you how to make meshes glow in Blender. So we have a scene here, just a simple scene, a plane, and let's add, say, a cube. Just going to drag it up like that, and uh, here we have. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that uh, the ambient light in your scene is not too powerful to overpower the glow effect. Otherwise, you won't even be able to see the effect you're trying to do. So let's get rid of this light and uh, go to the world setting and make sure that uh, our color is set to zero or the energy or strength is set to zero uh, so that it's, the, it's a black background. I'm also going to change from look dev to, uh, to rendered view so that, so that we can view uh, what we have in the world settings here. So now to make the mesh glow, all you have to do is uh, select the mesh, give it a new material. My setup is a bit different, but uh, you can access other uh, shader editor by simply going to the shader tab up here or by splitting any of your views and switching it to uh, the shader editor. As Since I already have one here, let me just join this back uh, so that we can work here. Now, you can also give this object or mesh a material by going to the material tab and then clicking new. It's the same or equivalent to doing it directly here. Now, the, the principal shader comes with a lot of settings here and one of those settings is the emission uh, setting. And uh, if you give this animation value, you can see that uh, we see the mesh glowing. And uh, if you're using cycles, so if you go to the render settings and switch from EV to cycles, you will see that uh, the mesh is already emitting some light. EV does not support mesh lighting, meaning that uh, the mesh will glow, but uh, the, the light that the mesh gives off will not affect any other objects in your scenes. Uh, so it won't illuminate other objects in your scene. So for example, if I add a Suzanne head here, scale it down, just move it to the side. I also usually like to turn on random colors in my overlays so that you can easily identify other different objects in the scene. You see that uh, the light coming off this object is not affecting uh, this object. While if we switch to cycles, okay, I think I have this in the back. So you see that uh, the light this gives off is affecting, is illuminating uh, the Suzanne head. And if I change the light or emission color, you can see I get that effect. Unfortunately, if it doesn't support mesh lighting, so, but we can fake the mesh lighting. And uh, the way you do that is first of all, you can turn on bloom and you can see now we see a glowy effect around the mesh. And that uh, if we increase the strength, of something like 10, the glow effect intensifies, but we're still not illuminating uh, this, any objects in the scene. We're not illuminating the, the plane. We're not illuminating the, uh, the Suzanne head. To fake the light illumination, all you have to do is add in a light. So let's say a point light like this. You can bring it in the center of the object. So it's switch to wireframe so that we can see through the mesh. And I can see the light is in there. And because it's inside uh, the mesh, it's not, the light is not going out of uh, that cube. So what you can do is, if you're in EV, you just have to select uh, the mesh, and then go to the material settings, and change, and under the settings, under shadow mode, turn off opaque to none. And now you can see that uh, we get the light coming in, the, the, the light is just going through uh, this mesh because it's not it doesn't produce any shadows and uh, because it's a source of light it shouldn't have any shadows anyways uh, the only difference we have is that uh, the light cast on this mesh is not the same color as what is glowing from the mesh so to fake it we just have to change the color and uh, match it to what the cube is giving off and you see we have that and uh, then you can just parent this parent the light to the cube, control P, object. And now if I move the cube around, I get the illusion that the mesh is giving off light. And if I duplicated this, shift D, can have this down, maybe somewhere here. Let me shade smooth this. I can give this a different color, but I'll just duplicate this light, uh, this material, give it a blue color like that. And I also make sure that uh, this is also given a blue color. 
yeah and that's how you make objects glow in blender thanks for watching